Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooly here, a staff writer with business.com. Today I'll be walking you through some of the personal insight analytics you can access with ActiveTrack. Let's dive right in. Here you'll see the personal insights tab on ActiveTrack. This gives employers a personal look at their own activity metrics, which can be a great way for them to track and improve their own productivity. On the top left, you'll see the name of the user that this set of data is for. In this case, it's Javier. This tab shows the user a weekly trend view of their past seven days, as well as their average screen time, productive time, focus time, and collaboration time per day. What constitutes as, say, productive or collaboration time would be totally customizable by the administrator, and each user's goals would be set by them and their manager based on their specific role. How the user is trending against their goals depends on what those goals were set for them within the system. For example, this user is above their goal on productive time and collaboration hours, so maybe they're taking too many meetings or Slack conversations and they aren't giving themselves enough time to focus. So at a glance, the individual knows that they aren't meeting their goal when it comes to focus time, and that's an area that they can improve on. For example, maybe they could silence their communication channels for a while to get more uninterrupted work done. The user can also benchmark themselves against their teams by seeing the average for their team is. And you can also see what your trend over time is. If you scroll down further, this is where it starts getting actionable for the employee. If this user's goal was to increase their focus time, they could easily see which sites and applications they're spending too much time on. In this example, it's Slack, Zoom, and even email. Over here on the right, you can see this bubble shows how many attention shifts email caused. So this user was switching back and forth a lot between email and something else, and it's something that they may want to take note of. As we scroll down further, the user gets another clear breakdown of their focused collaboration and multitasking hours, but it's broken down by hours of the day. On the left, you can see this is the average amount of time the user spent before getting distracted. So since this number is lower than their goal, they may want to take measures to increase it. Something we thought was really cool is over here on the right, ActiveTrack provides tips for how the user can improve their focus time. This sort of coaching and advice isn't something that we saw many other competitors offer. ActiveTrack also understands the effect that work and balance and wellness plays on productivity, so it also has a work habits section. Users can see their utilization over the past several weeks to ensure they aren't under or overworked. If an employee is consistently overutilized, it's an indicator that they might need to take a break to avoid burnout. And again, over here on the right, the user can see some tips on how to improve their balance and wellness. Lastly, the employee can view their technology usage over the past seven days. This gives them insights into what platforms they're using, and it can be helpful in determining if there are other applications that better meet their needs. For a sign off, I do wanna mention that the employees can also subscribe to get their personal reports emailed to themselves every morning, which is just another way to stay on track. So that was just a quick insight into the personal insights that ActiveTrack offers. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.